Hers would be a navy fill with a gold stroke. You do this until all of the graphics are the way that they should be. They look the same as the graphic logos that we put on the first page. Once those people are completely finished, you would go down here and change this man's graphics, the graphics on the photo realistic picture. We would change them all to the school colors again. Navy. Navy fell, gold stroke. And you'd make sure that the tail is in the right spot. Once that's completely finished, you can go to page four, which is the pouch. We don't we don't change that page. That one remains the same. This page always remains the same. Oh, I remember one. I've forgotten to show you one item at the very bottom of the screen on page three of the posters, you would have to change the graphics on the embroidered shirts and also the wording on the pants. We're going to zoom in so you can see it better. I'm going to do is to delete this one and drag it over. Um, so in the spot here, you would copy and paste the embroidery graphic, which was logo number six from page number one. This isn't it. <laughs> I'm going to go back and get it just to show you. I'm going to zoom in just to make sure that I have got it all selected. I'm going to copy it over to the poster, paste it over, and put it on the two sweaters and also the spot where logo number six is. So you then copy and paste it down onto the two sweaters. Um, page four is the pouch that we don't use. We leave that, well, not that we don't use it, we do use it, but we leave it the way it is and we don't do any adjustments to it. Um, page five is the table printout, which doesn't need any adjustments either. Um, 
And page six is a little bit, part of it is easy because it's just copy and pasting. Um, the first section on this page, this top section here, I'm going to put a square around it so you know what I'm talking about. This section here is just copy and pasted from the very first page, which is the order form. It's copy and pasted over, and you just delete the words that say fundraising. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where those fundraising words are. This is page one again. I'm going to copy. I don't think I have it all selected. I'm just going to select it one more time. Okay, that's better. I'm going to copy this and then go over to page six. I'm going to delete this section and I am going to paste this in. But I'm just going to delete it again. I missed, when I copied this, I missed the top part of the page. I'm going to do this again, show you. I didn't get everything. So what I want to select is this whole section. There we go. Go to page six. I'm going to paste it in. Now, when I said to delete the fundraising prices, underneath each item, the price of each item, there's a line that says fundraising. We're going to delete that from this page. The next line of this page has just all sweaters. So what we're going to do is copy and paste in the sweaters that we have up here. The very final part of making this file is adjusting this bottom section, which is the color combinations. Uh, this is what the shirts are going to look like on each color if ordered on any of the colors so that the students, when they're ordering, get an idea of what it's going to look like. Because sometimes the graphic colors will change on a different colored item. So. These purple ones all have to change to navy. We're going to come up here. We're going to Copy just going to take logo number six and place it here. And here for now.
Um, logo number five is a one color logo and it's gold on the black shirt and the navy shirt. It will look very nice. What you're trying to do is make it so it looks nice and it really stands out. On the gray shirt, if we put a gold graphic, it's not going to stand out very well, so you would use royal. Make it look nicer. For logo number three, we're going to keep the same color combinations because it's a single color logo. So we're going to keep the same color combinations as logo number five. So it'll be gold on the black, gold on the navy, and then on the gray it would change. Oops, we didn't get that switched. On the black, it would change to the navy. The same would go for the items that are two colors. So we're going to try and keep them the same on each graphic, um, on the graphic color. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So up here for logo one, we've done it as a navy with a gold trim gold outline. So we're going to do the same thing down here. It's going to be a navy fill, gold outline. The same for this, navy fill, gold outline. And the same for logo number four, which would be navy fill with a gold outline. The final thing that you would do would be to adjust the pricing on each of the items. <clears throat> so you would adjust the logo number one, the price of it. Again, you would check on page number seven and look in the chart. Five letters, script with tail, two color graphic, and you would know that that is $24 and adjust the prices all the way across. Page seven doesn't need any changes. So you're basically finished the graphics. Then I would normally print out page one on an eight and a half by 11 page, just, just page one, and make sure everything's correct before going ahead and printing the poster and the order forms. And that's how you make the Spirit Wear order form.